Okay, so for the following circuit, we have to find a Norton equivalent of the following circuit. So let's find R Norton. So R Norton is pretty much equal to R the Thevenin resistance. So let's find the Thevenin resistance. And that will be equal to what R Norton is. So we turn off all sources that are independent. So this one will be replaced with an open wire. So we can we can just ignore this portion. And this one will be replaced with a closed uh, short circuit. So uh, it'll be a closed wire here. And we will pretty much do, let's redraw the circuit. So it'll look like this. So this is eight, four, eight, five. So I add these up. So eight plus eight, four plus eight, that's 20. One over 20 plus one over five and one over that gives you uh, uh, four. So RTH will be equal to four ohms. So that means R Norton is equal to four ohms. Now the second part of finding uh, the Norton equivalent is by finding R I Norton, the current Norton. So to find that, we pretty much do, uh, put a wire here, we short circuit, and we put a wire here, and the current passing through this wire, it'll be I Norton. So let's find that. So first thing I want to say is, we can now pretty much ignore this five ohm resistor because all current is gonna be passing through here and avoid this resistor because resistors are pretty much hard for um, current to pass through. So if they find an alternative way that's easier, like this wire here, they're gonna like move through that. So we can pretty much ignore this uh, resistor. So let's do KCL. So this one will just be two amps passing through it because of this. And this one, hold on. Let's call it IN because it's moving the same direction as IN. So it'll be so for mesh IN, it'll be minus 12 plus 4 IN minus 2 plus 8 IN plus 8 IN equals 0. So it'll be minus 12 plus 4 IN minus. 8 plus 8 in plus 8 in so 8 plus 8 plus 4 that's 20 in and minus 12 minus 8 that's minus 20 let's bring that to the other side so it'll be plus 20 in is equal to 1 amp now let's write the norton uh, circuit so pretty much what it looks like is the current, which is one amp. Then there's a resistor here. And this resistor is I Norton, which is four ohms. And then we write this portion of the circuit over here. So this one will be A and this one will be B. And this is your Norton uh, circuit. 